Now for this one, if you take a look at the format of this, we have a square root and it looks like we have something squared minus something else squared. So you should be looking at your antiderivative formulas and thinking that you should be using some kind of an inverse trig function. And that's exactly what we're going to be using on this problem. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is put a u in uh, for this. So uh, the u, we're going to let that equal the, the part that's being squared. So u is equal to 2x minus 1. We do the derivative on both sides, we get 2 du equals 2 dx. You solve for dx, then you get du over 2 equals your dx, so we get, we're done with that one. Now, the 9, we can write that as 3 squared, because that's, what, that's required on this kind of problem. Let's rewrite this. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to put the, the 3 outside like that. And then I have square root of 3 squared minus u squared. I'm going to put the dx out right here. So that's just going to be du over 2. So I kind of just move the dx out, out of there and put that here. Now the 2 that's outside here, I can bring that outside the integral. So I get 3 halves, 1 over square root of 3 squared minus u squared. And then I have a du left over here. Now, we've got this into the right format. So what you would do is you look at your antiderivative formulas for this one here, and you'd plug that in. So this one is gonna turn into the uh, inverse uh, sign on this. And so we'll go ahead and the, the way that formula works is it's gonna be, it's always u over a on the inside. So inverse sign of u over a. Let's do that, let's apply that formula on this one. We're gonna do three halves. We're going to do inverse sine. That's got to be u over a is the formula from the formula sheet there. So we're going to do the u was this one here, 2x minus 1. The, the, this is the 3, that's your a value on that. So that's why we have to write this as a square for each of these. So that way you know what that a value has to be inside. So inverse sine 2x minus 1 over 3 plus, don't forget again, the plus c you need on that because it's another... Uh, indefinite integral always requires you to have the plus C.